The ME163, perhaps the most annoying plane to fight at 8.0. Just like the BI I made a video on not long ago, this thing is a rocket plane, and it can turn and accelerate and climb, you know, do whatever you want very, very well. It's a really strong plane at 8.0, it's not quite as strong BR for BR as the BI for example, but it is nevertheless really powerful. There's really only a couple of drawbacks to the 163, and the first one being its top speed, it's not going to be able to catch a lot of things in a mild up tier. If people don't want to fight you, they kind of don't have to. But that said, there are also a lot of planes you can catch, especially in a down tier. But the other thing is with, you know, having to catch planes, you're going to be at 100% throttle trying to do that, and you only have, you know, six minutes of fuel. So I guess that's sort of a drawback as well. Now, the other drawback I originally had in mind were the guns. You get two MK-108 30mm cannons that they do an absolutely massive amount of damage when they hit but the problem is getting them to hit in the first place. Ever since all the guns in War Thunder got changed to be a bit more realistic to where they lose more velocity quicker, these guns kind of got hit the hardest with that. The velocity of the MK-108s were already really slow, but since that change, they're essentially a melee weapon now. That said though, when you do get kills with this thing and your target isn't point blank in front of you, it is a pretty nice dopamine hit to the brain. Most of the time, if they hit, they are going to kill, even with heavy bombers. And as you saw in the intro, you can be like not that far from whoever you're shooting it at and it will take a long time to get there. And then ultimately when it does connect and you get that big aircraft destroyed pop up on your screen, it's a nice feeling. Now since you only have 6 minutes of fuel, I should probably talk about that. This thing is not nearly as fuel efficient as the BI I did not long ago. But instead of getting like a minute and 50 seconds of fuel, you get 6 minutes at the start. Now this sounds like a whole lot more because, well, it is, but it doesn't feel like it stretches out as far as that minute and 50 seconds does in the BI. Anyway, the performance of this thing, as you can see with the footage going on in the background, is pretty damn good. It can kind of run circles around literally everything if you can get them slow. And if you just keep your finger on your up elevator key, you will eventually start getting shots on people as you can see right now. That 105 is dead, but as you can see, there are still several other enemies around and I'm just gonna have to keep going doing circles and eventually I'll hopefully get a shot on someone. And that's kind of the problem, eventually. You don't really have time for eventually in this plane because you only have, you know, six minutes of fuel from the start. And when you do get into situations like this, you probably are gonna run out of fuel at some point. Because if you try to extend away, yeah, you'll have some immediate acceleration to get away, but as soon as they start getting their speed back, they are going to catch you. Okay, let's skip forward a little bit. I've been doing this thing where I'm going circles around these people for like three minutes now, and they haven't been able to get a shot on me at all. And then eventually I am getting these little shots on people like this against F40. I completely whipped that because I suck with the guns. Connect with those though, so we ball. And now I have less than a minute of fuel left, so I pretty much have to RTB, especially since there are a couple of people left. Yeah, you can get back to base on, you know, 10, 15 seconds of fuel if you fly at like, you know, 10, 15% or something. But if you are still in the fight when you only have 20 seconds of fuel left, you're not going to be able to extend away because you can't throttle up to 100% and make it back to base. So you gotta do what I'm doing right now. Pull away, throttle up to 100% to put some distance in between you and all the people you were just fighting and hope they don't follow you back. Once again, skipping ahead just a little bit, this Saab 105 has now caught up to me because I had to throttle back in order to conserve fuel to actually make it back to the airfield. Now the Saab 105 is not a very good plane and if I had fuel, I would 100% be able to kill him, but I don't have fuel, unfortunately. Now, I do actually make it back to the airfield, and I was able to take off again, but I didn't notice that we have zero tickets left on my team. So because of Gaijin's fantastic game design, I lose on tickets not even 11 minutes into the game. Great. Now, I don't know if it's just been like a weird couple of days, but when I've been playing this thing, I have lost on tickets more than I think I ever ever have in War Thunder. It is extremely frustrating as I'm sure all of you know at this point. Also one thing to watch out for, I think it's only when you have a pretty full load of fuel, it's extremely easy to rip your wings in the 163. And it seems like it only happens whenever I have an actual opportunity to get a lot of kills in a game, which is, you know, just adds to the frustration of me. <laughs> I know, I know, haha <laughs> skill issue, ha <laughs> he funny, funny, funny. Here's a game that's a perfect example of what this plane is actually capable of. Almost my entire team is dead right now. There's another ME163 up, but I think he's gonna die in just a second. And 
then there's also an IL-28, but he's an IL-28. Not exactly good fighter material. Now, I don't remember exactly how many planes are still alive on their team, but right here, right now, in this specific situation, it is 1v8. Unless, of course, my eyes deceived me and I can't count, which is very possible. See, the beauty of the Amy-163 is that you can do this. Eventually, people are just going to end up slow if they try and follow you into maneuvers like this, because you're a rocket plane. They aren't. You know, you probably smell what I'm stepping in, so let me speed it up a little bit. Eventually, I finally get an opening for a shot on this meteor, with because MK-108s, and then connect with the second one. But there's still like seven more people I gotta deal with. Another 30 seconds go by of me just holding my up elevator key, and eventually I find myself with another shot on a MiG-9. Miss because I suck, and then I connect. Going to continue to go full throttle and turn a whole bunch, but this time I am running low on fuel, and I don't know if I've noticed yet, I can't really remember, I played this match like two days ago. Another 20 seconds go by, and this guy is going to present me with a free shot. I take it, get a crit, look at that, I aimed for once. Finish him off with a couple more, and that's another kill. But this time I throttle back instead of going back to full throttle, because at this point I think I have noticed I don't really have enough fuel to continue this fight, even though there are like seven people left. Starting to head back towards my runway, but also there are guys actively pursuing me, which is uh, not ideal when you don't have any fuel. They start catching up and I have to evade, otherwise I'm gonna die. Get a bit aggressive, start going back to full throttle, and I'm gonna try and take a shot at J29. Get my crosshair in front of him, but I probably could have taken a shot, but I didn't because I didn't think I could. And now I've only got 13 seconds of fuel left, and I'm still at 100% throttle. Not exactly ideal. Small amount of ammo left, basically no fuel left. Start taking some shots on this F-86F30, and I finally get one final kill. Still have hope that I can make it back to base, but this J-29 is right behind me. I only have two seconds of fuel left, and I'm only at 20% throttle. And he takes off my wingtip, which is uh, very unfortunate, and now I'm done for. Now, as far as my personal experience goes while playing the ME-163, pretty unpleasant. I experienced more airfield campers, more losses on tickets, and more just like steamrolling teams than I ever have before uh, in War Thunder. I don't know why it has just been this way the last couple days. Oh, and I swear like every three or four games I was getting EC maps, and I'm not playing an EC map in a 163 because I have only six minutes of fuel. All right, what do you guys think about the ME163, especially compared to all of the other 8.0s available? Personally, I think it's really, really fun sometimes, if you, unless you're getting EC maps or losing on tickets or having to compete for kills because your team steamrolls for some reason. All right, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.